Some billboards in the western part of our state are stirring up some controversy about how we say the Pledge of Allegiance. And the organizations that spoke to them are saying the billboards will be making their way to the east as well. Not on your side's Alex Friedman looks at what you might be seeing as you take a drive. Under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Jennifer Lovejoy says the pledge hasn't always been like that. The original pledge was meant to be, um, you know, a message of unity that included everybody. And when they added the words under God in 1954, um, you know, they started excluding um you know, a group of people. Lovejoy says they posted the One Nation Indivisible billboards along I-40 to spread that message of unity, but it's received some mixed responses. Followers of Christ aren't going to get non-believers to believe in God by going and marking out billboards. God should, you know, be kept in the Pledge of Allegiance. He's everything. A feeling held by the We Still Pray organization in a battle of the billboards. That group posted billboards that include the phrase, under God. As we're looking at our national history and our religious heritage, putting those two elements together, when you see a billboard that states we're one nation indivisible, I think it's disingenuous at best. When you say God, you can think of anyone when you believe in, you don't have to, I mean, it can stand for anybody. It may not be popular here in the East. Busy intersections like this one could be seeing those billboards coming up soon. The North Carolina Secular Association says they plan on having them from the mountains to the coast. In Greenville, Alex Friedman, Eyewitness News 9, on your side. Six billboards touting the One Nation Indivisible Pledge have been posted along state highways, and six more that include Under God have also been posted. By the way, we still pray Christian organization. That's the group that posted those others. All 12 will be visible for the next month.